Formerly Billy Burr. Formerly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I've always, you know, some I was always Bill, right up until I got into showbiz, and uh, you know, people, some people got in my head like, ah, oh, it doesn't flow together. You should go by William or whatever. So I kind of listened to him, and and for like probably like four years, I went by Billy, and every time somebody said it, like I cringed. Like I don't know how Billy Crystal does it. Like as a man. You Billy. Know, Billy, yeah. If you didn't grow up with it, but someone talked you into that. But I was Billy when I was a little kid. If you're right. a little kid, a little kid is Billy. And anytime a comedian does a joke and there's a little kid that they're talking to, it's like, so oh, let me tell you something, Billy. Yeah, it's always uh, Billy. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because that goes back to what we were just talking about. Maybe when you were Billy, you would have taken up guitar or skateboarding oh, without being go. self-conscious. Yeah. Well, that's because that's what we're talking well, about. I, I wasn't self-conscious until I got an argument with my fucking neighbor down below me. I, oh, all right, this happened today. No, this happened like like two three days ago. About guitar playing? No, it 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 turned into that. It what? got it got ugly. Wait, uh, what happened? All right, so I live in this old building, and yeah. like it's re like there's no insulation in it whatsoever. Like I've been sitting on my couch late at night, and you know feeling like I'm the only person in the world, and all of a sudden you just hear like, <laughs> um. you see somebody clear their throat, and they sound like they're on the couch with you, like the place is fucking haunted, <laughs> and they're literally across the courtyard. I don't know what, if it's the acoustics. I don't know what it is. Yeah. So everything's fucking loud as hell in there. So we live above this this old guy, the classic old guy you don't want to be living yeah. alone, not even no you know no pets, yeah, blinds pulled. You don't even know what the fuck he does, right? And uh, he's always like he's really sarcastic. Yeah, it's like if you drop something, you know, because there's gravity, you drop something. He, he you just hear him like muffled downstairs. You just hear. Do it again! Oh no! Like okay. that. He's no. he's doing that. How can you live in a place that's got that thin a situation? Going it, it's on? it's fucking ridiculous. And like, uh, oh, keep it up! Oh shit! He does that. So I think it's funny. If he says do it again, I do it again. You know, comedian. I don't give a shit. But my girlfriend, like, maybe because it's a guy, she feels bullied by him. So like two months ago, she tells me, you know, you really need to go down there and talk to this guy. You need to talk to this guy. Man up. No, no, dude. Man up would be if it was me. We're, we're the same age. Yeah, right, right. How old is this guy? Dude, I, I don't know, you know, you know hundreds. I, I was joking on my podcast that he tested for McHale's Navy. <laughs> That's how old he is. He's an old guy, so it's like, what am I going to do? Yeah. What, I'm going to go down there, and wh what is going to come of this? I don't want to do this shit. So yesterday, yeah, it's two, three days ago, it's the end of Christmas, I'm dragging my Christmas tree down. It's like 10 in the fucking morning. Legally, I could start building a house at 7 a.m. Yeah, yeah. I'm bringing a tree down, and he comes out, and then sarcastic is, is hell. To the point, I didn't even get it, but he just had this bizarre look on his face. He just goes, uh, what did he say? He said, uh, beautiful morning, isn't it? Like, oh, yelled Christ. that at, and I was, yeah. and I was looking at him like, like, uh, what, what the fuck is yeah, this yeah, guy yeah, out yeah, of his yeah. mind? Yeah. And then I realized, oh, he's being sarcastic. Oh, right. he heard the tree coming down. So I'm like, whatever. And I go in the house and my girl's like, oh, he's, he was yelling again. Go down there and talk to him. So I'm like, fine. You want me to talk to him? So I go down there and I go down to talk to the guy and as I start walking up his walk he's sitting there and I, I see like this little kind of look of fear on his face and I didn't go down there to have an argument and I just I was just like listen man I, you're always yelling up there what is the problem and I sound like she dropped a brick and he just starts screaming at me I go look we have hardwood floors look I came I kept going I came down here to work it out and he goes what does that mean what is that some sort of hip new saying I swear to god <laughs> so I keep I kept my cool and I kept going like dude I'm just coming down here to blah 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 right and he just kept yelling at me then at one point he made a reference to my bad guitar playing his sarcastic as hell he goes how's your band and then oh. he and then he goes <laughs> then he goes <laughs> then he goes <laughs> oh, this little no. lap right no and uh no, I mean I swear to God, yeah. if, if there is an afterlife, I want kudos on this because I immediately want to be like, How's your fucking life? Yeah, yeah. How's your fucking life, <laughs> you really? Is it what you dream of? You didn't huh? do it? Yeah, who's your last roommate? You fucking Larry Howard <laughs> 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 You fucking asshole. No, because I, I have a line. I don't yell at old people. I don't. So, all right. Well, so that's what he said. He goes, how's your guitar? And that's what fucking kills me is it really hurt my feelings because that was outside the realm of comedy. So I don't have musician walls built up. Yeah, he you hurt your feelings. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. He, got, he got in. Yeah, he, he got in. Oh, he got he in. He got in. He fucking gave me an uppercut right to my feelings. Oh, And he always even worked because then I came upstairs and my girlfriend was standing on the balcony listening to all of She wants to go at it with the guy. And I just, uh, I just, you know, I got lines. But what happened though? So what happened was I find the worst thing I just said to him. I didn't even say you're a jerk. I just said, you know what? You're being a jerk right now. I came down here and, and you're just being a jerk. And I walked away and uh, and I just I left it at that. And, you know, of course, everybody listened to my podcast. was like, dude, you know what I would have done? Yeah. 
I would have fucking got a paint gun. No, you wouldn't have. Yeah. You wouldn't have. You no. wouldn't have. Or people tell me to stomp around my apartment. Oh, that's a great... And play the TV real loud. Oh, great. So I actually piss off all the sane people in my building? Well, you know what's weird is that with those kind of situations, yeah, the, the fact is you could be as nice as fucking hell to the guy and he still won't change. And it's only going to be for you. You, you know, it, 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 but sometimes if you're nice and you make gestures, sometimes they do have a level of an understanding. He's probably yeah, angry. I, 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 I think what I should have done was I should have made a gesture a while ago and I didn't. And now the first time we've acted, the first time we've ever really It's a talked, confrontation. It's a confrontation. So I, I, I think it's it's over. You know, it's like it's at that, that horrific. You, like if you get into an argument with a girl to that level on a first date, there's no second date. No. There's no, you can't bring the flowers. Not unless they're sick. So with yeah. me, there's usually a third and a fourth date <laughs> and eventually a marriage. So, so I don't know how that works for you, but in my uh, if you get into a really good argument on the first date, you might marry her. 